Hello, welcome to another short video on electronics by Q in motion. Today we're going to talk about diodes. Diodes are two terminal devices that look like this one. They have two terminals and one is called the anode, which is the one on the left on camera, and the other one is the cathode. The cathode is usually marked with a band that you can see there in silver color on the right. The other silver markings that you see on the diode are the part number right here in this angle you can see it better okay so let's see how this works a diode is a device that allows current to flow only in one direction for instance here I have a resistor and an LED when I connect the anode of the diode to positive and the cathode to the rest of the circuit uh, current flows through the LED if I reverse it current doesn't flow okay so it allows current to flow only in one direction if you connect it backwards current doesn't flow okay so that is all good but what are some applications of this what is this good for okay one option could be from preventing damage to a circuit if the batteries are inserted backwards right because if the polarity is reversed, the diode is going to be like an open circuit and no current is going to flow and no damage is going to happen to the circuit. Most commonly, diodes are used for rectification. That means converting AC into DC. As you may recall, AC means alternating current and it means that the polarity is alternating several times per second. For instance, I have this circuit here and uh, the polarity is what we're going to be calling positive when positive is on the red and negative is on the black. We have a diode, a resistor and an LED. If we reverse the polarity, right, putting positive on the red and negative on the black, the LED remains off because the diode is blocking the flow of current because it is reversed. So if this was to be AC, this would be alternating several times per second. Positive turns on negative it's blocked and nothing happens positive turns on again and so on now this is a pretty bad uh, rectifier because half of the cycle it is on and half of the cycle it is off so this is pulsing really and not really dc now we can improve this if we add a capacitor remember from last video we studied capacitors and uh, capacitors can store charge or voltage right and uh, they can hold it for a while so let's put a capacitor here after the diode and in parallel with the resistor and the led so when we have the right polarity the led turns off when it switches the led slowly turns off but remember this is happening several times per second right so when it is the right polarity again the led turns on again and the wrong polarity nothing happens the the capacitor keeps discharging but it will be recharged again a few milliseconds later so negative polarity the capacitor holds the charge positive polarity the capacitor is recharged again and the led turns on all right Okay, so that's the way a diode works as a rectifier. Now, something to keep in mind when working with diodes is that you're going to have some voltage drop on the diode when the diode is conducting. So I just put a 1 kilo ohm resistor for the LED. The LED turns on much brighter now and if I measure the voltage drop on the diode it's going to be 0 0.62 volts. 0 0.7 is what we normally consider to be losing on a diode when it is conducting. Now that 0 0.7 volts may not be much if you are working on a circuit with 24 volts but if you're working with a circuit with 3.3 volts after the diode you are left with only 2.6 so that 0.7 voltage drop on the diode is something that you have to keep in mind when working with low voltage circuits. And that is all for today. I hope you learned about diodes and we'll see you next time. Bye.